Hey guys, it's Dr. Robotnik64. This is a new features video for Minecraft, and today it's for the newest pre release snapshot of the game, which is 12W41A. So let's do this. The first feature that they added is that they added a new item into the game called an anvil. And the anvils can be used for repairing weapons and tools. And they are crafted by putting six blocks of iron and one iron ingot into the crafting table in this fashion right here. Now, also, not only can you repair weapons or tools using the anvil, you can also rename your weapon or tool. And if you have two weapons, let's say a diamond sword for instance, that are enchanted, you can actually combine the enchantments together. Like for instance, here's a diamond sword with smite 1 and another diamond sword with fire aspect 1 and knockback 1. And as you can see, the enchantments get combined. It'll give me a diamond sword with smite 1, fire aspect 1, and knockback 1. Now the only thing is that as you can see, this will actually cost you experience levels. And renaming it as you can see will cost even more levels. Combining the enchantments cost only 20 levels. But as you can see, combining the enchantments and renaming it costs 35 levels. So for instance, I renamed my Diamond Sword to Creeper Slayer, and as you can see, it's actually called Creeper Slayer and not Diamond Sword. So you can actually give custom names to your weapons or tools, so yeah. Now over time, the anvil will become damaged. So this one that I'm pointing at right here is the regular anvil, this one's a damaged anvil, and this one is a very damaged anvil. Anvils can also be used for another purpose as well. Like gravel and sand, anvils are actually affected by gravity, and if it is dropped on a mob or a player, the mob or the player will take damage, depending on the height the anvil fell down from. So for instance, I'm gonna drop one on a creeper here, and as you can see, he actually takes damage, but not enough damage that it actually kills the creeper. So I built some glass blocks here, and we're going to drop the anvil all the way from up here, and it's going down, and there we go, it actually killed the creeper. So the anvil could also be used for killing unsuspecting mobs and players. But yeah, so that's pretty much all that the anvil does, so on to the next feature then. There is a new button in the options menu called multiplayer settings. And as you can see, the chat settings have actually been moved to here. But there's also a new setting called show cape. And what that setting does is that if a player owns a cape in Minecraft, you can choose whether the cape should be shown or hidden, so yeah. You can now use custom mob spawners or NBT tags to configure the explosion radius and fuse timer on a creeper, which means that you can now configure how long the creeper takes before it actually explodes, and you can also configure how huge the explosion is, so yeah. The effects that are given off by the beacon block are apparently less intrusive on the screen now, but to be honest, I don't really see a change, and when you actually go inside the uh, beam of light, it still looks as though you're being teleported through space or something, so yeah. Breeding mobs now gives you experience orbs, so as you can see, I'm breeding two cows here. And there you go, I actually got some experience orbs from that. Try it with some sheep. And there you go, I'm now at level 1. So breeding animals now gives you experience orbs. The leveling up sound now only plays every 5 levels. So as you can see, I got to level 2. However, it just played the regular experience orb collecting sound. Now if I level up to level 5, like so... <laughs> it actually plays the leveling up sound. So now the leveling up sound will only play after every five levels that you level up to. Also, the leveling up sound sounds a bit quieter for some reason. And as far as I know, that's pretty much all the new features that were discovered in this snapshot anyway. There still may be some features hidden in this snapshot, but once they're posted to the Minecraft wiki, I may or may not review them. But that's pretty much it for now. So if you want to download this snapshot for yourself, the link is in the description. And sorry if this video might sound a bit rushed, because I was in sort of a rush to do this. But for now, I'm not going to explain why, so that's, that's it for this video. Well anyway, this was a new features video for Minecraft, showing off some of the new features in 12W41A. This is Dr. Robotnik64, thank you for watching. And if you want, feel free to like or favorite this video, or maybe even subscribe if you want to see more Minecraft new features videos. Or maybe just some gameplay and rant videos, so yeah. So I'll see you guys in the next new features video for Minecraft. Later.